Guys, what's up? It's Crypto Kings, and I want to talk today about EMP Fusion and give you a little insight into the roadmap of what is to come for EMP Fusion. Obviously, we just had, for you guys that are paying attention at the moment, Honor versus Madness. They just had the pre sale, the private sale for that, which was a massive success. A lot of money got raised for that project, and that project is going to be out in possibly eight months from now it's going to be released and it's going to be a big cash flow for emp fusion which is super super awesome uh big things that are going on right now is basically the team are just developing more and more cash flows to come back to fusion now it's not happening overnight you know it's not just oh the cash flow there cash flow there it's taking time. It's got to take time. It's real yield. You're literally creating real things that create money. You can't just snap your fingers and have it like that. So it's a work in progress, but it's happening. And there's other things that are coming as well. There's a new battery that is possibly going to be out this coming week for EMP Fusion. I'm not sure what the battery is. I don't believe they revealed what it was and what it does in the AMA. But they talked about it a bit, and there's some excitement about it. There's also the big decks. The, I want to say the multi-chain, uh, massive mega decks that EMP is creating on BSC. That's going to connect with all the other chains they got going on. Um, and that's going to be another really good cash flow for EMP Fusion. So let's head over quickly. We're going to have a look, and I'll show you what I'm doing at the moment. Currently in my position here, I have 40 energy stored up, which is only worth $404 right now. Obviously, each year is $10.04. Um, at the moment, I'm just letting it build up. You know, I can get to 50 each year. I can get to 100 each year. And then I can wait. And I would love to see the price of each year get back up to $20, $30, $40, 50 And then I can just take a big payday. And that would be absolutely beautiful. So that's kind of my thinking right now. I'm not going to claim it because eShares is $10. And eShares can easily be $100, $200, $500, $1,000 in the future. The reason for that is, number one, the supply of it is extremely low. It's about a fifty to 60,000 token supply. Such a low supply. Uh, come February next year, it's actually going to be a deflationary token because although there is a small amount of inflation, the amount that Fusion is actually going to buy and burn each year from the real yield that they earn will surpass the amount of inflation that is happening from each year. So it's actually going to be a deflationary token in the future. Also, you know, as Fusion continues to make more and more money, more money in the future will be allocated to buy and burn each year. So, you know, long term, each year is going to be a very, very highly priced asset just because of the supply and the, the constant buying and burning that is going to take place. So pretty cool over there. Now we look at EMP. And although you may be looking at the price of EMP and thinking, oh, it's only at 10 cents. Are we going to get to peg? The reality is, even if people don't keep buying EMP, which I believe they will because the value of EMP Fusion will be recognized in the future, you know, truly recognized, but the treasury right now is actually buying a whole bunch of EMP and just constantly sacrificing it and, you know, removing it from the circulation every single day. Right now, if you have a look at the yield, the yield is not very high. And a big reason for that is because not all of the money being earned is going to the daily rewards. A lot of the money being earned is actually going to, to help peg recovery. So if you're wondering, like, what's up with the yield for Fusion? It's not too great right now. CK, you own nearly 1% of the supply and you're only making $11, $12 a day. What's going on? Well, when we actually get to peg, What's going to happen is all the money that was being spent to buy up EMP and, you know, try help us get back to PEG, that's all going to be going to the rewards. So right now, all the money that's being earned is not going to just bolster rewards because we've got to get back to PEG. That's kind of step number one. But once that happens and every single day, 
more and more EMP has been removed from the supply forever because it's being sacrificed into fusion. So eventually there's going to be a supply shock and EMP will hit peg. But once it does hit, hit peg, all those resources that they're generating on a daily basis is going to be going to our rewards. Also, another thing they'll, they'll probably be doing as well that they've talked about is buying people's positions and burning them, making this a deflationary protocol. So our percentage ownership can actually increase over time, which, you know, once all the EMP is brought up and out of the supply. So that's going to be super cool as well. Uh, moral of the story is it's a game of patience right now. Um, I have a very long-term vision for EMP fusion, so I'm not trying to get rich overnight here or in a few months or, you know, even in a year. I'm prepared to wait a year and a half, two years, three years for this team to keep building and really ramp stuff up. Um, but the reality is, you know, come 2025, I think we're going to be looking so good here with all the cash flows that they're developing, Honor versus Madness, and et cetera, et cetera. They always have something up their sleeve um, that they um, that they don't reveal until it happens. So, you know, this team's always working on stuff. I'm very bullish for what the rewards are going to be in the long term, especially once we hit peg. So that is that, guys. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you are excited about the long-term potential of EMP Fusion. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Crypto Kins out.